so there you go. And as they say, the rest is history. Bye bye, Alan Williams. Hello, Brian Epstein. Things really started moving for them at this point, didn't they? <laughs> well, yeah. Brian had the money, you see. He got them suits and radio slots and photos of the works. So did you ever really speak to them again? Oh, of course I did. <laughs> I can't stay with anyone for long. We went out for dinner when Stu and Astrid came home, and I did some joint bookings with Brian. I even let them back into my club. It was there that Brian told them that uh, Decca Records had turned them down. I don't believe it, Brian. All this mess about our image and nobody wants us. There's plenty more fish in the sea, John. Yeah, but is there a fish as big as Decca? We played bloody awful at that audition. It's no wonder they turned us down. I'm afraid that's the way they work, boys. While you're in Hamburg, I'll start taking the tape around to the other companies. What's the saying? All dressed up and no place to go. Tomorrow, George, is the for the next day. Tomorrow, I think. You reckon Zeppi's coming with him? Zeppi and Hamburg? Well, they're bloody half fairly when he sees the reaper go on. There you go. There's the lovely Astrid. Where's our shoe, then? You haven't left him tied to the bed again, have you? We're wearing him out, you know. How many times do we have to tell you German girls about that? Last time you did, he had welts on his wrist. My steward is dead. I feel him here, in this room. Is this where he died? Yes, it is. Did he suffer? No. He just collapsed. The doctors think it was some kind of tumour on his brain. He was only 21. He always seemed older and wiser than me. He was like my best friend, my dad and my brother all rolled into one. He never lied to me, but I lied to him. I told him the headaches were normal, it'd be all right. Well, we all told him that because we wanted to believe it ourselves. Yeah, but you weren't there, were you? When he got his head kicked to a pub, I should have taken him to a doctor. You knew him better than anyone, and you should know. If he didn't want to go, nobody could make him. Anyway, he said it could have been anything that caused it. I don't want to imagine how much I'm going to miss him. Him. Look, Astrid, you either go on with your life and be strong, or you die with him. You know, you can't do both. John!
Boys, I have some good news. Following your audition for George Martin and Parlophone, the Beatles are EMI's newest recording artists. Yes! <laughs> oh, well done. We knew you could do it, Brian. We knew we could do it. Oh, this is it. I'll pop down to the cars bar and tell Pete. Why? The record company didn't even like Pete. Anyway, we've decided we want him out. What? You can't rock the boat now. Where will we find a replacement? We've already got one. Who? Ringo Starr. He's with Rory Storm. I don't even know him. Yeah, but we do. Pete's out, and Ringo's in. Now you can earn your 25% and go tell Pete. Yes. You better send him in. You want to see me, Ryan? Yes, Pete. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. I've been instructed to terminate your contract with the Beatles. What does that mean in English? The boys want Ringo as the drummer. But why? What have I done? Nothing, Pete. It's nothing personal. Nothing personal? They want the point of stardom and it's nothing fucking personal. Sorry, Pete. 